my name is Gordon, and today I'm here to show you the Sprinter 2500 passenger van. The Sprinter 2500 series passenger van is one of the most desirable family vehicles on the market today, and there's a lot of reasons why, so let's take a look at some of these great features. Starting up front, you'll see it still has the classic uh, star on the nose, but the vehicle itself was redesigned in 2019, so they've changed the shape of the nose to give it a more aerodynamic appearance. They've thinned out the headlights so it looks much more similar to the S-Class luxury cars. But you'll still find the same physical size of the vehicle, and it's one of the most popular reasons is because of the size of the vehicle itself. The Sprinter passenger van is available in two different lengths and two different heights. This is the short wheelbase, 144 inch wheelbase passenger model, which is available with a standard roof and the high roof, which you see here. With the high roof model, on the interior, it's six feet, four inches from the floor to the ceiling. On the standard roof, it's five foot six. So with the high roof model, you have plenty of room, even for the tallest members of your family. For the short wheelbase Sprinter passenger van, it's available with 12 seats. For the longer wheelbase, the 170 inch wheelbase Sprinter van, that's available with 12 or 15 seats. So there's a model available for any size family or business. Each row of seats inside the Sprinter van are independently removable. So if your family doesn't need all 12 seats, you can snap in or snap out rows of seats that aren't needed for additional cargo space. And that applies for the long wheelbase as well. Some of the features that make the Sprinter passenger van so desirable are features like having fog lights up front. This one has uh, parking sensors front, rear, and on all four corners, and additional safety features like a 360 degree camera system that allows you to see all around the vehicle when you're parking into a tight spot. Even the side mirrors are power heated and folding side mirrors for extra safety. For 2021, the Sprinter passenger van is available with three different engine choices. You have your choice of the 2.0 liter turbocharged gas engine. You also have a 2.1 liter four cylinder diesel engine and the big three liter V6 turbo diesel engine for the greatest amount of torque. Each engine has its own features, uh, but this particular one here has the turbo four cylinder diesel engine, which is gonna give you the greatest fuel economy averaging about 24 miles per gallon overall, but can even go as high as 27 miles per gallon. One of the reasons the Sprinter 2500 passenger van is so popular is the styling alone. With the dark tinted windows, high roof, this one also has the black painted wheels, but is also available with lightweight aluminum alloy wheels. The styling is what sets the Sprinter apart from the competition. It's a great looking vehicle that draws crowds no matter where you go. Additional features that make it popular as a family vehicle are things like the power electric sliding door, and you can also get a power electric sliding step as a separate option. This makes loading and unloading your family at the airport quick and easy, and you have plenty of room on the inside with 12 seats, which we're gonna get into detail in just a moment. The standard seating arrangement on the Sprinter passenger van is 12 seats. This particular one also has the upgraded interior with the black leather at upholstery, and the comfort seats that do recline. So for each of the three positions, each seat can, in, can recline independently, it makes the kids very happy so they can lean back when you're on a long road trip. Again, each row of seats is independently removable. So if you don't need all 12 seats, they can snip, snap in, snap out, and you can have extra cargo space on demand. The interior of the Sprinter passenger van is fully finished, just like an automobile, the walls, the ceiling, flooring, all covered. There's no bare metal showing. On each row, you've also got cell phone holders and USB plugs so that the kids can plug in all of their devices and keep them charged on a long road trip. Up top, you have the secondary air conditioner system. And for 2021, they've moved the main air conditioning unit to the rear of the vehicle. So it makes the vehicle quieter on the inside. Uh, that's in addition to the air conditioning system that's up front. Plenty of air and comfort for everyone. There are cup holders in the fronts of the, each of row of seats that pop out, and there's additional power ports available in the rear. Whether you're using the Sprinter passenger van for your big family 
or for business, you'll find that everybody has plenty of room. Leg space is plenty available. There's at least four to six inches in front of me here on the second row. Same for the rows in the back. Uh, each row, like I mentioned earlier, has cell phone holders and chargers, so everyone has a place to charge their uh, toys when you're on the road. The seats do recline, and with the high roof, if you're thinking of customizing your vehicle, there's plenty of room for cabinets and even a giant screen TV on the inside. Those are options that are done aftermarket. Let us know if you need something like that and we can arrange that too. You won't find any shortage of cargo space on a Sprinter 2500 passenger van. Even with 12 seats on board, you'll see behind that last row of seats there's plenty of space for camping gear, bicycles, any equipment you want to carry along on your road trip. The floors are covered with a rubberized plastic so it's very easy to clean. Head down to the beach, get some sand on the floor, no problem. It wipes out clean with a damp sponge. The walls are also covered and insulated, as well as the ceiling. So it's a nice quiet ride on a long road trip. Even the rear door panels are covered and insulated with cargo nets just for carrying extra goodies. On the rear of your Sprinter cargo van, of course you have your backup camera system. And if you have the optional 360 degree view camera system, you'll be able to see all around the vehicle, even in a tight parking spot. Uh, tow hitches are available as an extra option for the vehicle and a Sprinter can tow 5,000 pounds right out of the box. Long distance safety and comfort is what the Sprinter passenger van is all about. Starting up front with the comfort seats, both the driver and co-driver are going to be very comfortable on those long road trips. The bolstering has been improved and they are really nice. The front seats can recline all the way back, so if you need to pull off to the side of the road on a long trip, take a little cat nap, no problem there. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz also has all of the safety features you would expect. You have front airbags, side curtain airbags, anti-lock disc brakes, stability control, uh, all standard features. On this particular model, we also have the power heated folding side mirrors, power door locks, power mirrors, tilt telescoping steering wheel, and then you have the upgraded infotainment system with the seven inch color screen. More on that in just a second. On the steering wheel, you have the design which is uh, throughout the Mercedes uh, lineup with controls on the left for your driver pod, controls on the right for your driver information center. This one's been upgraded with the seven inch color screen which includes navigation and Sirius satellite radio. Air conditioning controls for the passenger van. You have two air conditioners, front and rear. Both are controlled from up front so the kids can't fiddle with the controls. Oversized cup holders in front, extra power ports, and up top you have your Mercedes-Benz user interface which also has the roadside assistance and emergency services at the touch of a button. Available as an option with the upgraded infotainment system is the 360 degree parking camera package. It has sensors front, rear, and on all four corners, in addition to cameras that allow you to see all around the vehicle. The cameras are adjustable so you can view wide angle, close up 360, and you can even close up to your trailer hitch in the back so you never miss your trailer hitch. Thank you again for watching today and be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of your screen. We have more videos coming and we want to keep you informed. If you're in the area in Riverside, we'd love to have you come down and take a tour of our facility. Come and see us then.